Hey guys, another standard battle. This is Will here, and uh, yeah, this one against the Mel. And uh, yeah, so I have an intimidate going on, and he has a clear body, so that intimidate doesn't work. So I'm like, word, nice. So uh, yeah, he goes with bullet punch. I thought he was gonna go for meteor mash. I just decided to go with an earthquake to see if it does more than half. Unfortunately, it does not. So now I decided to go for a dragon dance, and now I'm pretty sure now a uh, a uh, earthquake will kill that thing. But he's like, yo, dude, check this out. I got explosion. So I'm like, God damn it. So, uh, yeah, my Gyarados will be no longer. Um, I was really hoping, I was like, come on, he doesn't get stabbed. Don't die, don't die. And then I was like, yeah, no, he's going to die. So, uh, wow, really, really bad switch in here. Uh, Blissey versus Electrovire. I'm like, yeah, no, no cross chop, bitches. So uh, go to Skarmory to absorb that. And uh, I don't think I have Chandelure uh, in this match, so that's unfortunate. And, um, yeah, he is a fire gem and uses a uh, fire punch and gets the burn on me. Can you believe that? Why am I getting burned in all these battles recently? Like, oh my gosh, like, every single time it's like 30% chance of burn. Bam, burn. It's like, holy crap. So I really didn't have, um, I mean, he's useless with the burn, so I just decided to let him go and just go to my Hydreon, and uh, it's ironic, uh, I thought it was kind of funny that he didn't go with, uh, I know that he probably was predicting a uh, Draco Meteor Earth Power, but it was just funny. He got his Fire Gem, so you know he was kind of like, like you know, it was the only time he could use that. And he has Cross Chop, which is super effective. So I was like, ah, uh, yeah, why didn't you just stay in so I could kill you? But um, whatever, it was an okay switch. And uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. And now he has his uh, his Drizzle going on because of his Politoed. And I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? This is holy crap. So, uh, yeah, Blissey is a pretty good Politoed killer, because all it does is paralyze and then Seismic toss the bitch until it dies. And Politoed doesn't really have that much HP, so it's usually not a big deal, unless they go match max HP. But, uh, yeah, so here, uh, the Volcarona is, um, this is why you don't go Volcarona. Stealth Rock just absolutely kills the thing, like, in one hit. It's horrendous. Um, you know, like, you, uh, you come in and half your health is gone, and if they hit you with anything, you can't come in again, so... And, uh, and check this out, Volcarona gets the burn on my Blissey, so I'm like, wow, wow, guys, why is everything that I have getting burned? This is ridiculous. So, I don't really care because a burn on Blissey is fine, it's just like paralyzing it, it's like, okay, uh, I'm just going to switch on out of here and nothing's going to happen, so yeah. And uh, he goes with a hyper, or a um, echoed voice, and that uh, increases in power every turn, so that turn did almost nothing. And uh, this next turn, it would do. Uh, it, it starts off, I think, it's 40, then goes to 60, then 80, all the way up to 200. And so uh, he gets Parahax there. And I'm like, lol, you can't get your voice going echo, if that makes any sense. You can't get your voice going echo? You can't get your echoed voice going. Whatever. I don't know. I can't speak English today, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he would go for a, uh, an echoed voice here again, and so I go to Chandelier to absorb it. Oh, I do have Chandelier. Well, uh, whatever. Fine. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's what's, uh, what's going on. Oh, I know why I went to Scarmory before, because I figured that he would go, like, you know, Thunder Punch or something like that, and then I could just Iron Defense, because it wouldn't do, like, all that much, and, uh, kill the thing. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, Crawdun comes in and completely walls my, uh, Chandelier, and I'm like, word, thank God for that. I was really worried that he would just go through all your guys. Sarcasm. So yeah, uh, Draco Meteor will finish off the Crawdon, and uh, that's why I love Hydreon, because he just comes in and rapes bitches. And uh, yeah, so I knew the Ice Beam was coming here, that's pretty obvious, so I just go to Bliss, and I'm going to Thunder Wave the bitch, and then try and just Seismic Toss. But no, no, that's not what's happening, because he gets the Freeze Hacks. So I'm like, holy crap, are you kidding me? You're getting burn on every single one of my guys possible. And you just got a freeze hack. So this is so ridiculous. So yeah, he um, he's going for hydro pumps. I think he still has uh, electrovire out, so that um, would be a perfectly fine choice for him. But I think he's waiting for me to use thunder wave. I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, so I just go for thunder wave here. I think uh, because I figured that he would stay in, and uh, he does. Uh, I didn't think he would go to electrovire. And, uh, yeah, he does, and he goes for an Aqua Jet, and I'm like, okay, uh, Hydro Pump is significantly more power, and I think Blastoise is more special than you are physical, so, lol, what? Um, yeah. So, Seismic Tossing the Bitch, and, uh, this is gonna get kind of boring, because Rain Dish and, uh, Blissey is, um, Rain Dish, Blastoise, and Blissey is 
pretty tedious. Because as you can see, like, instead of doing 100 hit points of damage, it's doing, like, 50 because he keeps getting the rain dish. And I'm having to uh, soft boil all the time because he keeps going to the aqua jet. So, yeah. That's what's going on. And, uh, yeah, if we don't switch this next turn, I don't think we do. I think we stay in. Uh, no, I, I don't switch out. Okay, whatever, fine. So Hydran comes in, and he's paralyzed, and I'm like, yes, nice, 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 nice. And uh, so I go with the Draco Meteor, and he avoids the attack. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He avoids the attack. That's ridiculous. So he goes with an Ice Beam, and it almost was a two-hit KO, but not quite. It would have been a three-hit. So I go with the Draco Meteor now, and it gets him down low enough to where I'm pretty sure another Draco Meteor should finish it off. But he has Rain Dish, so now I'm like, well, I don't know, but I got to go for it. I don't really have anything else to take it. That was a lot of words in, like, a very short amount of time. And, uh, yeah, he gets Parahaxed. Uh, I think it's two turns in a row there. And I'm like, yes, finally, that makes up a lot for the, uh, the burns and the stupid stuff. So now I'm able to finish off the Blastoise with another Draco Meteor. That's three, and now I have no special attack. And, uh, he's gonna go with a Cross Chop here, I think. And, um, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't really want to take that. So I go to, uh, oh, wow. That, wow. Did that really happen? Crazy. Okay, so Electrovire comes in, and I thought he was going to go for a cross chop, so I go to Caesar to kind of absorb it and to KO him back. And, uh, no, he has, uh, he has Fire Punch, and I'm like, wow, really? And so he, like, went for it, and I was like, holy crap. And he gets me down, all, like, to half health, and then goes for a wild charge. Who has wild charge on their Electrovire? What the hell? So, um, yeah, I, I mean, it gets me down. I don't die from it. I was really, really surprised, so I stay with 5 HP. And uh, now I'm able to kill off the Electrovire with my Hydreon with Earth Power. And uh, that would be the match, but um, I mean, that was way, way too close. I was like, holy crap, why did you go Fire Punch on your Electrovire? That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, that was a really good battle. And uh, it was a really uphill battle for me because of all the hacks and stuff. But uh, I eventually pulled it out, so that's, that's good. And uh, if you like this battle, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll check you guys later. Peace.